I've seen the damage Voidwoken have done. The gods couldn't handle it. But maybe we can. So I'm Sven Vinke, I'm the director at Lion Studios. Divinity Original Sin 2 is a sandbox RPG which you can play either uh, alone or with friends and uh, it, ha it has support for up to four players. Once you start playing, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a character. You can create a custom character or you can select one of six origin characters who each have uh, their own quest lines. And once you're in the game, you get a tremendous amount of freedom of uh, how you want to achieve your goals. The game has a, a large degree of interactivity with the world, meaning that you can move pretty much anything that looks like it can be moved. You can talk to NPCs, you can try to persuade them to do what you want them to do, you can steal from them, and obviously you can also engage in combat with them. And once you're in combat, careful tactical positioning, engaging with the environment is going to be critical if you want to win. Original Sin 2 has this uh, system in which you can manipulate the elements. So for instance, if you have a pool of water, you can electrify it and then everybody that's going to stand in it is going to be uh, stunned. But you can also cast a fireball at water, then it's going to uh, evaporate and so you're going to get a cloud. And that cloud is going to uh, potentially block the vision of somebody or you could electrocute the cloud so that they're standing in a, a thunder cloud. Or uh, you can throw oil at people, which is going to slow them down, and then you can throw fire at it. And that's going to cause an explosion. But then you can also curse the fire and then you get necrofire. The really cool thing about Original Sin 2 uh, is that at any time friends can join in. So you can invite a friend to join your party. And uh, the way that the game is built makes everybody a hero. So it is not as if there's a singular quest line making one person a hero. If you're playing with four, there will be four quest lines that are going to be interacting with each other and each of you is going to be the avatar essentially. The other cool part is that you can actually play it in split screen. So you can play it in the couch together with a partner or a friend and that is an awesome mode to play it in. It's really a lot of fun. We're really happy uh, to work together with Bandai Namco because of the success they had with Dark Souls. They know the RPG player and so that has given them a lot of experience and we noticed that when we were talking to them. So we're here at PAX East and this is actually the first time that we're trying out some of the changes that we've done to the game. Feedback is really good. There's a couple of things that we still need to tweak but by the time is going to release, uh, those tweaks should be implemented. Divinity Original Sin 2 is coming to consoles uh, this summer in August. I'm very happy that Bandai Namco is going to help it distribute it to a very wide audience because I think it's going to be the best Divinity experience yet.